All right, welcome to my channel, guys. Today we're going to talk about the iconic 350 Royal Enfield Electra. I know you guys have been waiting for this, and I can't thank Darshan enough. So let's meet the rider who got this bike all the way from Dhaisa. He's one of my subscribers, and he's so helpful that he got his motorcycle so that I can review it. All right, I'm really glad that Darshan has provided this motorcycle. I think. He'll just talk how his experience till now is. So, how do you find this bike? Is it performing well? I bought this bike last month, and I am very happy with this bike and enjoying the ride. So, guys, Darshan is very happy with his motorcycle. Uh, the best part about Darshan is we had a chat and we discussed that are there any pros and cons about this bike. He has zero problems till now. His father owns a 23-year-old Royal Enfield, and this is the image. Yep, that's the Royal Enfield cast iron which his father owns. So the bullet blood is in their family, and that's why he bought the iconic Electra. Why he wanted a bullet 350 is because to have the old world charm, which everyone likes, the vintage look. I always like a story from the rider and the passion and the love towards his motorcycle. It could be a bullet or any other motorcycle. And what I heard from Darshan is the time he sat on this motorcycle, he felt like this is made for him. This is designed for him. He did test ride the classic. He liked the classic too, but he found this bike more comfortable, especially the sitting. And he knows that the pillion sitting is much better here, and that's why he chose the Royal Enfield Electra. So now let's not waste time and let's move forward to review this motorcycle, which is the Electra 350 Royal Enfield. Well, the engine capacity is 346 cc, and the max power is 19.8 bhp at 5,250 rpm. Well, the Electra shares the same engine as the classic 350, which is a four-stroke twin-spark engine with a 29 mm vacuum carburetor. Well, the compression ratio is 8.5 is to one, and the oriented bore is X-stroke ratio, which is 70 mm to 90 mm. With this configuration, the bike can hit a top speed of 120 kilometers per hour, and this chrome panel looks pretty dope. Well, the toolbox and the air filter box looks pretty similar as the standard 500. Let's talk about the fuel tank. This simple yet stylish retro-looking fuel tank with the new badging looks pretty cool. The petrol capacity is 13.5 liters. The petrol tank lid is pretty simple, with a lever on top so that the water doesn't go in. The key ignition is a manual setup, so it's just a single switch, which shows the neutral indicator. The top speed of the kilometer indicator shows 160, and the negative positive amp meter is the same, which is also in other 350 classic and standard. Well, on the right side of your handlebar, we have the ignition kill switch, and just below that is the headlight switch. Just below that is the ignition start switch. and then we have your accelerator which is pretty smooth and that is your front disc brake lever same as classic retro style mirrors on the left side of your handlebar we have the taper and high beam switch we have the side indicator switch and the horn switch we also have a pass through and the clutch lever well i must say the seat is very comfortable for the rider as well as the pillion because the pillion gets a little bit of a rise and also the grab bars are pretty decent so i feel the whole flow of the seat is pretty nice i am not too fond of these fenders which curve in a very different way it exposes the tire and the tires are pretty thin so i am not very fond of that secondly this flow of the silencer is pretty long exceeding the tire but i'm sure all in feel is following the emission and the decibel law i am not too fond of the tail light assembly also however the side indicators are pretty nice let me put them on they are quite bright their focus is very nice and i really like that please note the side indicator hub caps are bought by him the 35 watt halogen with the hub cap and the tiger eye is a traditional look of the bullet The retro style handlebar mirrors are the same which are also in classic and standard 500. The new powder coated box assembly is pretty cool and pretty sleek. In my one of my Q&As I had mentioned about the rubber seal to protect your toolbox or the air filter box 
and Darshan has purchased this for 50 rupees so that the water doesn't go inside. So I guess everyone should have that who has an Electra or a standard or any 350 Royal Enfield. Well, the chain drive cover is now made of plastic, which is pretty cool. Well, the rear shock ups are twin gas charged and they are 80 mm travel. And the drum brakes are 153 mm. The front suspension are telescopic, they are 35 mm forks with a 130 mm travel. I like the front fenders as they are chrome and they are pretty sleek. I don't find these tires with good grips. Uh, and if I find them thin too. Let's talk about the disc brake. Well, that's a 280mm disc brake with dual calipers. So they're pretty cool and they're required for any bike which is nearly 350cc. This bike comes with dual horns which is pretty decent. Yeah, I'm gonna take this bike outside now and uh, give a 360 view and talk about the height, weight and length of this motorcycle. The wheelbase of this motorcycle is 1370mm and the ground clearance is 135mm. The length of this bike is 2140mm. If you talk about the width, it's 810mm and the height is 1120mm. So we are looking at anywhere with a curb weight of 187 kilos for the bullet. Let's start this motorcycle as it has stock exhaust and let's hear how it sounds. Alright guys, I have just uh, hooked the camera on the bike, yeah it's gonna be focused on me because I want to be interacting while I'm riding this so I can talk to you guys and mention how it feels, I'm just taking a spin in the building and uh, the exhaust is not changed yet because he's just waiting for a few kilometers to get over and then he'll be changing the exhaust as per his choice and uh, I think we're good to go. So let's take a small spin and see how this bike feels. The engine is very smooth because it's a new engine and uh, it's a great feeling. Yeah, it is a little underpowered than the 500 definitely but the pickup is pretty quick. So I think all the bullet people who are looking for a nice comfortable bullet ride, this is really nice. The, the build quality of this bike is very much like the standard 500 but the power in the pickup is a little less than 500 uh, though it's pretty swift. Uh, it's pretty good to maneuver around the handlebar is perfectly right uh, till the length which you need to reach I am 5 feet 8 and a half inch uh, and uh, Darshan is around 6 feet tall right 6 you don't know your height okay <laughs> okay so I am 5 feet 8 and a half inch uh, tall and I can uh, really fit well on this bike and take it for a very very long ride yep overall a good short ride and felt really nice I'll definitely ride longer but Darshan doesn't have much time so I'm gonna release this bike and give it to him. Alright that was a review of the Electra 350. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you really liked it please give me a thumbs up. Please put your comments below and as usual eat well, sleep well, be good. Signing off, ride with Raj.